friends, I have our day 29 math work, and this is page 325. Now, you guys were so good at doing these when we were in the classroom, and I know that most of the time you've had a 100 chart to or of some sort to help you, but I don't know if you got those in your packet, and I don't have one here with me at home. So, we're going to solve these without a 100 chart, but in the math work that you were doing earlier that had been sent home in that first packet, you had problems that were way harder than these, so I think it's going to be okay. So for our first one, 189 is our start number. Remember, we come back to this number every time. So 10 less than that. We'll look at our 10's place. We have an 8. So 10, take away one group of 10. We'll have 7 10's, and our 100's and 1's don't change. So in our next one, 10 more, 10 more than 80 is 90, so 199. Now, coming back to this number, 100 less. Well, we only have 100, so if we take that away, we'll have no hundreds left, and we'll just have 89. And then 100 more. We have 100, add another 100 is two hundreds in our tens, and ones don't change. So the next number, 339. We're going to take away a 10 from that tens place. There's three tens. We're going to take one away, so we'll have two tens. Our hundreds and ones don't change. 10 more, 339, 349. We're adding one more to the tens place. Now 100 less. We have three groups of 100. So now we're only going to have two, 239. We have three groups. We're gonna add another group of 100, 439. Our next number is 571. So 10 less, we have seven tens. Take one away, we'll have six tens and our hundreds and ones don't change. 10 more, so 70 plus 10 is 581. And 100 less, we have five groups of 100, so we're taking one away. Now we only have four groups of 100 and the 71 is still the same. 100 more than 500 is 600 and our 71 are the same because we're not adding any tens or ones. Now the next two, we kind of got in a good little rhythm there. These next two, we're, we might have to think about a little bit harder on some of these, but that's okay. You're good at that. 690, 10 less than that. We have nine in our tens place, so we'll have 680. Now, 10 more. 10 more than 90 is 100. So we're going to have 600 and 100, which is 700. That's what I was saying. Sometimes you've used your hundreds charts for this, but we can still think, okay, if we add 10 onto that 90, that's gonna be a new group of 100, and 600 plus 100 is 700. So there we go. 100 less, we're gonna take away one of those groups of 100 from the 690, so that's 590, and 100 more. We're adding on another 100, so that's 790. And our last one down here, <clears throat> 801, so 10 less, oh boy. I don't have a 10 to take away, I have zero in the tens place. So think, if I can take away the one, I'm at 800, and now I still need to take away nine. So that's 791. We're taking, we have to turn that 100 into tens. The 800 into some groups of tens, then we'll only have 790 and one. It's like if you have 101 and you take away 10, you'll only have 91 left. We just have 800 and 700 there too. 10 more, 811, because we didn't have anything in the tens place, now we have one in the tens place. 100 less is 701, that's seven, there we go. And 100 more, 901. Now I'm not going to do page 326 with you because it is a lot like this but I am going to do some of page 327 with you. All right, now we have page 327 and it's minus 10 and plus 10. Now, I will say I went in order until the last one and I skipped to that one because I wanted to make sure that we talked about that one. Um, so 579 plus 10. So we're looking in the tens place in all of these. If you are having trouble remembering that, I would just, Underline the tens place 
so you can remember. So 579 minus 10, so we're going to take away a 10. One less than 7 is 6, 569. And one more than 7 is 8, 589. 768 minus the 10, so 758, because we're taking one away, and now we're going to add 778. Once you get the hang of these and find the pattern, you're pretty good, but I will talk about some that might be just a smidge tricky. 823, we're going to take away a 10, so 813, and then we're going to add a 10, 800. 30, I don't know why I did an 8, I'm sorry. 833. Now, 915, we only have one 10. Now, we can take away that 10. 905. So, instead of a 10 there, we're going to have a 0. We took it away. And the next one, plus 10, 925. Now, if there was already a 0 there, the hundreds place would have to change. But since there is a 10 to take away, it just becomes that zero. That's why we can do that on that one. Now, 792 minus 10. We're going to take one away from that tens place and have eight tens. 782. Now, here's why I included this one. 792, we're going to add a 10, but that's going to make a new group of 100. So if I added 10 to 92, that would make it 102. But we don't just have 100, we have 700. So it's going to become 802. And you could count on, you could even count on that with your fingers if you wanted to. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 800, 801, 802. And there you go. 683, we're going to minus 10, 673, and plus 10, 693. And this last one, it's kind of like the 792 one. It has a 9 in the tens place, which can sometimes get a little tricky, but not if you pay attention. So 800, we're minusing 10, 887. Now plus 10 again. We have an 8 in the hundreds place. We're going to make a new group of 100 since we're adding another 10. So we're going to have 907, because if we added 10 to 897, that's 898, 899, 900, 901, 902, 903, 904, 905, 906, 907. There we go. So the rest of those shouldn't be too tricky. I did skip some to this one, so don't just copy what I did. Pay attention to which numbers you're on. But pay attention to those tens places, and you will be fine.